Hi! <laughs> Sorry. I didn't expect you to be back so early. <clears throat> um, I, uh, I just woke up. I mean, I'm, I'm enjoying a delicious bowl of uh, Kellogg's Raisin Bran with, with bananas. Um, you should really try this out if you haven't already. It's, it's, uh, it's quite healthy, nutritious, d delicious. <clears throat> I guess you're here because you want to see the next episode of the Let's Play for observation. Well, you want to see it too? Oh! Ah, I don't know. Do you want to see the next episode? Hmm? Let's do it. Here we are. What is going on? Right where we left off. I need the crew. I need you to find out what the problem is. Oh, I'm gonna find out what the problem is. Sam, give me a systems diagnostic. You got it. All right, let's look at module Yes One. Safe online, true connected. Okay. So. Module EAS-1 is pressurized. Well, the problem must be somewhere else, then. There's plenty of pressure. Module Unit 1. Hold. Yeah. Okay, so the power is fine, but the hull connection points are misaligned. That we can fix. Ooh. I can't get them open from here, but you should be able to reclamp the contact points from outside. Yes! I'm going outside! It's like you're going on your first spacewalk, Sam. Before you go outside, though, we need to update your Sphere firmware to allow for exterior use. Yeah. To upgrade, you'll have to scan the barcodes in EAS-11. EAS-11. Once you're fully updated, we'll get you outside. I'm granting you EVA permission now. The internal airlock hatch is now open. Hmm. Well, hopefully I do this correctly and, you know, don't jettison her and everything else outside of it. Ah! No, don't hit the computer. We need the computer. It's still hard to steer. Maybe there's... Aha! Uh, airlock controls. I bet you... No, that's the airlock controls. The bloody hell. Oh, here we go, here we go. Sphere upgrade procedure. To allow for maximum mobility and protection from the vacuum of space, there are a minimum of three sphere upgrades for additional abilities helpful in carrying out the relevant work. Okay, so I need to scan light, speed, and signal. Looks like. So, let's scan it. So let's go to memory core, and let's figure this out. Combine data. Here we go. So let's combine that with A, B, and 
Well, not C, but HVC. Haha! <laughs> Great, that's you all set up. All right. Okay, get those module clamps fixed, Sam. I guess I'll just do everything, Emma. It's time to head out, I guess. Yeah. Okay, pressure controls disabled, airlock not sealed. Okay, closed internal hatch. Perfect, 100%. Depress. It's gonna get depressing! Are they staying true to the silence of space? With exception to the, the weird... space music? Because I think that's in space too, space music. Uh, you know, every astronaut who's ever been out in space, they, they get there and as soon as they're floating outside doing an EVA, um, they can actually hear this low humming, uh, sort of Hans Zimmer, sci-fi-ish kind of music. Let's open the external hatch. The control panel where you can rearrange the clamps is on the outer hull of EAS-3. Whee! Oh man, this is crazy. We could maybe check out a US-12 while we're out here. What, because you want to see Josh? This is cool. Whee! Alright, so... Map's missing, so I just need to... Remember... What I'm doing. Are there any numbers? You know what? Let's, let's look over here. Alright, so there's EAS-12. Can I bonk it? Bonk. <laughs> Sam, it's still there. Well, yeah. We can check it out. Okay, let's see what I can find here. Man, this thing got messed up. Okay. In my suit. Now it's something reliable. Hmm. Okay. So he's in his suit. Is there. Aha. Is there a camera out here? No, of course not. So I can't connect to it. Well, I guess there's not much I can do here. So maybe Josh is floating around here somewhere. Either way, it looks rough. Rough McGruff. McGruff, the crime dog here. Alrighty, so... Please repeat your previous instruction. Sam, get those clamps disengaged. I'll be watching your feed. Straight down, Sam. Yeah. The controls are at the bottom of the EAS arm. Getting closer. Uh -huh. Look for the controls on EAS-3. It's kind of hard to tell. I... Are there numbers? Am I... Oh, hello. <laughs> EAS-3. They're on the bottom. Oh. Whole contacts. Okay on the bottom of this EAS unit, huh? Oh, what's that? Hello. And let's see. 8, 2, and 4. Start clamp reset. Hold S. Oh, oh okay. One down. I'm coming in. And 
And last but not least, let's do four. Okay. All reset. That's it. The whole connection points are reading true. Yes! Victory Screech! <laughs> Alright, so what? I think that's I working. Yeah, it's working. It's gonna take a few minutes while the module connection runs its pressure checks. Sam, while you're out there, take a closer look at the damage you detected earlier on the station exterior. What can you see? I'm a boosty boy! I can go fast! Oh, there's some exterior damage. That looks like very damaged exterior damage damage. Hello, what's this? An unknown material is present at hull fracture points. That looks like what I found in EAS-4. Hmm. What the hell is it? Bring what? the sphere back inside and meet me in EAS-3. Uh. Let's get this hatch open. I hope to god the others are okay. Yeah, they're probably not. I'm coming. I don't want to run out of power. I can't run out of power. I am Sam. So let's close this down. Close. There it goes. Repress. Alright, and open. Oh! Sphere offline. Camera node. My poor little spear! It died! Can I charge it? Because I don't like being this way. So where is Emma Mama? Hey, Emma. The hatch lights are on. Looks like the connection to Universal is holding. Great work, Sam. But thank now, you. Lift the lock down on the hatch, please. Okay, so we're going to Universal unlock EAS hatch three. What if I don't want to, Emma? I can't do that, Emma. Linked. I forget. Is it the same thing as before? Cool. Alright. Just gotta get used to the codes. <laughs> okay, that's it open. Here we go. Here, let me. Wait. Am I a camera or a sphere? Hello? Elsa? May? Staz? Staz? Where the hell is everyone? Must be at the bottom of your list. I haven't even heard Staz yet. Or I wasn't paying attention. Jim? Jim? Jimbo! I don't know, but it's creepy. Are you there? I feel like I'm gonna see something in the background. No, no, oh, what do you see? Come on. Who is that? Um, oh my. That person got goopy, goopified. I'm so sorry, Stas. Looks like it was exposure. It must have been depressurized at some point before. Sorry, mate. Can I not move this camera? That's your universal camera systems back online now. 
So keep an eye out for anything while you work. Oh man, a whole different section. I'm having enough trouble figuring out the other one. Hello? Is someone there? Oh. May, it's Emma. You have no idea how happy I am to hear you. Emma. Oh my god, Emma. I'm stuck in Shenzhou. Where are you? We've just made it to Central. Who is we? Me and Sam. I don't know where anyone else is yet except... Except Staz. He's dead, May. Oh, God. How? It looks like Central depressurized. It's okay now, though. Uh, he's in his suit, but I, I don't think he had O2. What about Jim? Josh? Ailsa? Nothing yet. We had, like, a full power outage. Sam has lost most of his functions, and we're slowly getting him back up to speed. Okay. I'd like to help, but I'm stuck in the Chinese arm. There's something wrong in UN-3. It's all locked down. I'll get Sam to look into it right now. Sam, check the station alerts. Make that the priority if you can. Station alerts. Okay, let's do this. So what do we got? What's this? Three, two, one. Best password in the world. Access denied. No biometric data detected. Huh. There we go. So, what do we have here? Hatch open. Hatch unlock L3. That's a bit hard to see. Okay. What about this other stuff? That has to be Josh. All almost there. Message to Cruiser. Hi everyone. I know a lot of you have been getting head up about requests from Houston and from me that have been butting into your work this past week. I just wanted to say that I'm hearing you all loud and clear, especially Josh as he's been the loudest. Oh, okay. I know it's been frustrating, but we're getting to the end of it now. We'll be back on expected ESA practice soon. Really soon. You've just gotta trust me. When we get through to the other side, I can maybe fill you in on what's been happening. Hmm. The plot thickens. Alright, so I'm exploring most of this. So this is universal. I haven't been here yet. Oh! Uh... That doesn't look good. Is it empty though? I think it's empty. Okay. So at least I'll be able to connect to a lot of stuff. Power cat. What are you connected to? This laptop! Date night. Hey Sam, message for Emma. Hey, it's me. Good news is Jim finally pulled me off USES reactor tests as Houston want the EFR on standby tomorrow. So out of nowhere, the captain gave us a window between shifts, meaning we get to be awake at the same time for once. New restaurant just opened called EAS 12. Food is terrible, but it's got a great view. See you there at 100. I'd say let's hang out at your bunk, but. It's a tight fit, and that woman who sleeps opposite keeps rolling her eyes. See you later, Em. Message ends, Sam. Thanks. Aww. Okay, if that was Josh, that was... He, he seems okay. He seems alright. Cool network schematic. Okay, so we got the bottom half. Combined files in memory core. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, back up. Back up again. And let's go to. Alright, so corrupt data. Let's connect. And hatch schematic. It's hatch schematic, that's not it. Coolant network schematic, so I want to connect that with procedure coolant. Yeah, 
Yes! Look at me connecting things. The only thing I'm not connecting are these people. <laughs> okay. So, let's look at station alerts, because I feel stupid. I didn't know that was in my menu. Alright, so what's this one? Coolant network. Coolant loop. A temperature. Imbalance. Error detected. Crew at risk. Okay. The coolant network is reporting multiple errors. Recommend investigation. That could give us problems later on. Yes. Have a look at the network hub, please, Sam. Tracking sensor. Okay, so we're in the right place. For I can us. hear you in there, Sam. The door is locked down, and I think there is an override active. Something atmospheric. All right, something atmospheric. Well, let's add this system link, even though it's going to be unavailable. Oh, right, 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 I have the schematic. I think this would mean that... So I'm going to try four, actually. Okay, so did that fix it? I guess. Hmm. Oh, the direction actually <laughs> matters. I can see the light in here flashing. Oh, good. It's checking the system again. Whatever you're doing, keep going. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna keep going. Uh, need to find the other coolant systems. I need to make it cool. Uh, there you is. Now, am I? There, I'm just silly. So, 7.26. Maybe that'll help me. Yes, it will. Configuration 3. Network on! Oh my god! Are you down here? No? Coolant Network Hub. Uh-oh. All nodes are ready. Start each node and confirm, then initiate hub controller. It is now online. Start the network 490. Confirm. And start coolant node 726. Confirm. <laughs> uh, initiate. Hub controller. Confirm. Good job, Sam. That'll allow us or anyone else access to the Universal Modules 3 and 4 as well as the Shenzo arm. Hey, it's another person. <sighs> Still not opening. Oh, the lockdown hasn't lifted. Now saying something about... We had the same problem on the EAS arm. I think whatever moved us to Saturn caused us to shake. Wait, what? Saturn? Yeah. yeah. Sorry, I should have mentioned that. Yeah, you should have mentioned I'd that, I'd say Emma. it's a long story, but all I know is that Sam thinks he brought us here. Saturn? I mean... Christ, I don't know where to begin. Look, I'll, I'll head outside and try to get this sorted. I still have my suit and plenty of O2. Be careful, May. I'll be fine, Emma, don't worry. Hmm. I really doubt that. Crew tracker sensors. System reset detected. Crew tracker sensors offline. Let's tell them. The connection between crew tracker functionality and SAM OS has been severed. I need those sensors working. Go get them online and I'll fix up the crew tracker from this end. There was a sensor in here. Oh, now it's working. Magic! Enable sensor power control interface. Sensor disabled. Adjust. It's enabled. Okay. Uh, enable sensor calibration test. Spot check system available. First key. Sensor calibration test. This is a good self-colorblind test. <laughs> 
Sensor 1 is online and receiving data. Good work. What can I say? Alright. I, I guess that's it. I believe I saw more. Is there a way to track? Let's just check here in the centers. I think. Oh god. Oh god! Ah! Oh. Oh, wow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Once in a lifetime. Once in a lifetime. You see those glitches. You pouncy. You pouncy thing. Okay. Let's calibrate this one. Let me hold this button. Calibrate. So blue. Blue goes to green. Easy. That's sensor 2 online now as well. Nearly there. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, if patterns are consistent, then the third one should be here. Somewhere. Maybe more towards the center. Aha! Alright, let's do this again. Ah. That's them all online now. I'm almost done here, thanks to you. That's right. You should be thanking me. And not Josh. <sighs> crew tracker is online. Uh -huh. Where's my crew, Sam? I don't know. Working on it, okay? Alright, so what am I looking for now up here? Crew tracker! This is gonna be sad. Josh. That's Josh. Live data, weak signal. Location unknown. The tracker for Josh Ramon is showing a weak connection. Can we get a position on him? Is there any biomedical data showing? The location of Josh Ramon is unknown. Is there any sensible data coming through for him? There is no biomedical data being received for Josh Ramon. I don't understand. Maybe there is some interference. He's a ghost. Okay, what about Jim? Come on, give something, Sam. Alright. The tracker for Jim Elias is showing corrupted data. There must be a fault, or a networking issue. Is there any location or medical info? Oh, there is not. Captain Jim Elias is located in the Russian arm. I am unable to determine his exact location. Okay, is there any biomedical data making it through? You know there is not. no biomedical data being There's received not. for Captain Jim Elias. May, we've got a fix on Jim. He's in the Salyut somewhere. Good. Get him to sort this mess out. Tell him he owes me an explanation. Wait, it looks like your cameras in the Russian arm are offline. Let me get that for you now. Um, are we not even going to check on... Oh, alright. Sure. Get a visual on the captain for me, Sam. Where is he? Oh, captain. Oh, captain, my captain. Uh... Seen a whole bunch of nothing here. Anywhere else? Wow, this guy's got a lot of cameras. Or, okay, maybe not this guy, but this uh, section. Okay, what about over here? Response to Elsa. I am sorry, Elsa, but I cannot help with the survey data. The captain has all my time. He's even broken protocol to delay my sleep cycle for some space janitor duties. Watching dials, running checks, backing up transmission data for a full five hours. All while Sam does the very same, of course. 
I don't know why he's got us scheduled like this. We're all on different sleep arrangements and we barely get time to work together. This isn't how we normally do things, if you are wondering. I'm sure future missions will feel a little less isolated from one another. If you need anything, just shout. Message ends. Hmm. Well, guys. I suppose the hunt for the captain will continue after this. Um, I think that's all the time we got for this episode. Give me some comments. Where do you think he may be? Uh, did you see something that maybe I missed? Definitely let me know down below in the comments. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I will see you next time. As always, thank you so much for joining me. And this was technically something. See you guys in the next episode.